It's time to chuck the hand rivet away and give the forearms a rest because Kango's got the tool for you. Let's have a closer look at the Kango blind rivet drill adapter with a few tips and tricks along the way. Designed for use in a drill driver, this adapter will pull up to a 4.8 millimeter rivet in aluminium through to stainless steel with four different size nose pieces. This handy tool does all the hard work for you, being up to five times faster than a traditional hand rivet tool. The most common question we get about this tool is, can we use it with an impact driver? The short answer is no. We don't recommend using an impact driver with this attachment for two important reasons. Firstly, it needs to be used at low speed, around 600 RPM. And secondly, you'll need to set specific torque settings on your drill, depending on what type of rivet you're pulling. Another common question is how to get this tool started. To use the Kango blind rivet adapter, you'll need to start off by working out the size nose piece for your rivet diameter and fitting that piece to the rivet adapter with the adjustment tool. The rivet adapter may have a nose piece fitted, which you might need to remove when you want to install the correct nose piece. Once the nose piece is fitted, align and insert the shank of the adapter into your drill and tighten the chuck. Put your drill in reverse and squeeze the trigger until you hear a clicking sound and then you're ready to load a rivet. Insert the desired rivet stem into the adapter and align the rivet to the pre-drilled material. Then gripping the housing of the adapter, put the drill into forward and squeeze the trigger to pull the rivet. The rivet will pop from the stem when finished. To release the stem, put the drill in reverse and squeeze the trigger until the rivet stem will eject from the nose. Now you've learned how to pop a rivet, let's go through how to clear up a jam. If the adapter is not allowing you to release the rivet stem, it's best to disassemble. Unscrew the front bushing to access the jaws and the jaw tubing. Using the adjustment tool or a 17mm spanner, unscrew the jaw tubing anti-clockwise to release the pressure on the jaws and reveal the jammed rivet stem. Clear the jam and align the jaws evenly for reassembly. Tighten the jaw tubing clockwise and reattach the front bushing by screwing back onto the adapter. That gets you back in action and ready to continue using the Kango Rivet Drill Adapter. If you want to learn more about the fantastic Kango range, check out the Kango website.